The following video contains profanity and language that some viewers may find offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sister Girl on Films. And happy Halloween! <laughs> So as y'all can tell by the title, we will be watching Halloween 2. Now listen, also as you can tell by the title, first time watching. I may have seen bits and pieces of this, possibly, but I have never sat down and watched this full movie from beginning to end. Um, if y'all saw my reaction to Halloween, the first one uh, maybe a year or so ago, I love that one. That's one of my favorite horror movies, but I've never watched the second one like not intentionally. So this is pretty much my first time watching it from beginning to end. So I'm super excited about it. Um, our girl, Jamie Lee Curtis is back. Uh, Donald Pleasance is back. And I know that Jamie Lee Curtis is in the hospital and this is like where the movie takes place. But beyond that, I'm not quite sure about the storyline. <laughs> so I'm super excited to watch this with you guys. So enough of all that. You already know what to do. Go ahead and get yourself something to drink. Um, I just got me some flavored water, some sparkling water, some white grape. It's really good, okay, refreshing. And get yourself something to snack on and let's go ahead and get into Halloween too. Call the police and send them over here. All right? Now do as I say. Go. Y'all, this ending to this movie, this whole scene with her in the damn closet just stresses me out to this day, hun. To this day! To this day! And them babies came out. <laughs> Read it out their damn house. Oh my gosh. And he was so quiet. Oh my God. <gasps> oh. noticed that he climbed up on top of the balcony. How the hell did he manage that? <laughs> he didn't just like flip over like he was standing on the rails. Now y'all ever noticed that before? I've never. <laughs> What's the point in there? Don't y'all start with me. As a matter of fact, it was. Mm. Look at his imprint in the grass. <laughs> grass wet why did he leave such a big imprint and don't y'all freaking say because he landed so hard no absolutely not <laughs> she was body in the grass y'all is crazy for this oh oh now y'all want to open the door y'all remember from the first one she was banging on the door and they Look through the blinds and close it and cut the light off. Y'all remember that? Yeah, we know. <laughs> Come on. I don't know if if they know, John Carpenter to be specific, if he knew what type of banger he had when he made the song. I feel like Quincy Jones and them, when they heard this, they got jealous, and that's why they made Thriller. But I ain't one of the gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. I bet you that's why. Because I've been wondering for years, like, why the hell was the song Thriller ever made? Why would it have ever been made? Because they heard this. I said, shit, we can do that. Bam, bam. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Now you know he wants some mayonnaise on his sandwich. What's the sandwich without mayonnaise? Gertrude? How about mustard? Absolutely. Next, a morsel of mind-melting madness, night of the living dead. You 
you sleep again? Oh, we watched this. Y'all, I didn't realize that uh, Night of Lemon Dead is a uh, light, light of the Lemon Dead, Living Dead, <laughs> is, um, what's it called? Public Domain? We could have watched that without me editing it at all. I had no idea. Early this evening, authorities have confirmed that all three of the victims are teenagers. Michael, you could have just got that sandwich and peaced out instead of trying to kill these old folks. Last night from the Smiths Groveborn County Sanitarium. He is now believed to be at large in Haddonfield. <gasps> oh, my God. This is Robert Mundy, live. Oh, girl. <gasps> and then he got blood on your sandwich. Girl, go back in the hot. Oh, my God. Mr. Elrod? Baby, I don't go outside at night. Are you okay? Anything happens, happens in the daytime. There was someone screaming next door. Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Elrod. It, his wife's always picking on him. No, that was a different type of scream, girl. Start beating her. <laughs> what? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Oh, baby, do you know? Are your phones gone? They are gone. I know. You know, we probably <gasps> Where did it happen? Oh, hell no. It's right down the street. <sighs> Sally, I Why are your I doors not locked? And the guy got away. Do they know who it was? Are you about to find out? Oh, God. Girl, the way I'm running out that door? What are you talking about? Full speed. Jackie Jordan Kersey. Out that front door. Who is it? Girl, run uh, to the door. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God, that scared me so bad. Oh, my God. Jesus. I did not expect that at all. Okay. <sighs> that was a good ass jump scare. Out of me. <sighs> That's what I'm saying. If she had ran to the door, he wouldn't have had time for no jump scare. Cause Michael ain't gonna run after you. He probably would have like swung and missed. Her neighbors lucked out because they wasn't old people. He really got no beef with old people like that. Poor girl. Oh wait, that's Jamie. Oh, that jump scare was a lot. <laughs> it scared me so bad. You think I'm lying, Sheriff? I think you missed him. No man could take six months. I tell you, this isn't a man. You didn't meet Tupac. Uh, look out, <laughs> look out. Right. Over there, look, look, look. Is that him? I don't know. Get back. Run, go on, run. Move it. Get back. Now, Michael ain't gonna have no trick or treat bag now. Stop. Oh, that definitely ain't Michael. <gasps> you gonna shoot the wrong person? Oh, no. <gasps> what? That was obviously not Michael. That poor child. You shouldn't be on the case, sir. 
if you got a one of them with Annie, then you don't need to be on the case because obviously that's going to be too emotional for you. So you need to go home or go back to the precinct and send your cat somebody else in. Why are we doing this out in public for everybody to see? What the hell kind of sense does that make? I know that's his daughter, y'all. I know. But still, all the more reason to do this in the ambulance. Daddy shouldn't have went there. You do that at the morgue. I have to uh, go and tell my wife before somebody else does. Go on home, Lee. Go on home. I'll take care of everything. You shouldn't have let Lee go there in the first damn... What have you done? I haven't done anything. You let him out! I didn't let him out. I, I gave orders for him to be restrained. Now, is there anything else that we can do for you? If that was oh. Michael Myers burning up in that car, and a lot of other kids are going to be slaughtered tonight. He's dead. I saw him. I saw a man in a mask. It was him. I want to believe you, but i got to be sure. I can't stop until I'm certain that he's dead. Oh! That's how you live. That's how you live. He bumped into Michael and was just like, nigga, move. <laughs> it went right on around his ass. And how he just walking around the city on the way to the hospital. What kind of manhunt is this? <laughs> Can I feel police? What a waste. What a waste. I love that they brought back the Michael POV in this one. Because I don't remember that we got it a whole lot in the first one. Everything, you know, was from Lori's perspective. <gasps> Not you in there with the babies. Get your ass out of there in the room with them babies. And why ain't nobody in there? Oh my God, this hospital is terrible. Well, just as I thought, trash. We were late again tonight. Just 15 minutes? That could be the difference between life and death for one of those kids. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why ain't nobody in there, because it's supposed to be her ass. I don't want to hear any excuses. You're a good nurse, Karen. I hate to lose you. But you've got to learn to be on time. So let's go over this first. I'm very sorry. Car. This is Car. 9.30 tomorrow morning. God, they should have... They should have handled it more carefully. Who? Michael Myers. Michael Myers? Yeah, he, he was the guy that was after you. In the Myers house? That little kid who killed his sister? Yeah. Oh, that's right. She didn't know who this was this whole time. But he's in a hospital somewhere. He escaped last night. How do you know? It's all over the radio. Television, too. It's on right now. Girl, because you looked in that damn house. Time's up, Jimmy. Let's go. Okay, okay. No, you won't. Here. See here? No fillings. 
He's young, maybe 17, maybe 18. Michael Myers is 21. Positive ID means we check x-rays and dental records. It'll take hours. No other way to know for sure, I'm sorry. We haven't got hours. Listen to me, we've got to assume that Michael Myers is still alive. Let's go down to the therapy room. <laughs> Blitz finger needs a little bit of therapy. Ew. Can't leave the kids right now. Well, everybody's all worded out tonight. All this Michael Myers crap. She shouldn't be leaving them kids, period. I just... I just want... Oh, girl. Gotcha, bitch. Not you falling for the okie doke. You already been late to work, so you're already on the head nurse's shit list. And now you about to go and do the hanky panky and leave these poor infants to fend for themselves? Why won't you ever tell me anything? I told you. I'm not your mother. Oh. thought they meant like <laughs> mental health therapy. They meant like physical therapy. <laughs> I'm like, what's so important about going to the therapist room? <laughs> oh my God, it's not. Oh no. He don't feel how hot it is. It can get cold in here. <gasps> oh no. Now Michael getting a little feel in. Ew. Ew. No. Don't suck his thumb, please. Ew. Oh. Ew, girl. Michael's like, girl, I kind of like the little, little bit. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> now, what did she do to you, Michael? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Don't pull it over. Oh, no. That is terrible. Oh, no. I mean, she wasn't like a terribly bad person. You know, sometimes the people be just unbearable, but she wasn't that bad. She didn't deserve all that. Sister. Is that it? No. Here. But like, did he draw that picture? <laughs> what? Sam Hain. It means the Lord of the Dead. The end of summer, the festival of Samhain, October 31st. Now, how he know a Celtic language? See, that's how the hell they open up the floodgates to that damn Lewis. Halloween curse of Michael Myers. Dr. Lewis, I ain't never seen it, but I'd imagine this is, room. is that kind of where Order. this come from? I don't know. Can't <laughs> order me. No. Is that no. mentioned in it? She looked like she know you. I thought that was her little boyfriend. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Okay? Promise. Now did this become the old man that was in the uh 
the reboots. It was like a will they, won't they type of romance. It's just like the young version of him. Oh shit, oh, I did not see him behind her. I should have known though. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go find Mrs. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> they love running down this hall, don't they? <laughs> Let one more person run down this damn same hall. Oh, Lori, girl. How you know? Come on, sis. She was faking that. She said, oh, hell, I got to get the hell up out of here. I'm about to say, girl, just get on the floor, get in the corner, because the hospital dark as hell. <laughs> Michael ain't going to go into every room. He might, though. I just don't understand why the police wouldn't have had somebody with her anyway. Like, were they just like, big dude Garrett is enough at the hospital for security? No. That's why she said, do not put me to sleep, because I'm screwed. Look, oh, Lori. Garrett? <gasps> Sorry. Listen, um, I can't find anybody. Bud's gone. Mrs. Owls is gone. We gotta find Lori. All right, listen, um. <laughs> Not Michael. He's dropping. All right. And if you don't find him, <laughs> Michael is funny. Not him eavesdropping. Where are y'all going? <laughs> Nah, I'll be there too. Okay, I'll keep looking. Y'all don't see that big ass shadow? Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. This movie is insane. Oh no, he drained all her blood out of her. Well, shit. Well, at least Michael will think he's dead if he come across him, if he got a bad memory. <laughs> I don't know, this feels too risky. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lori, you ain't got enough energy for all this. Oh, hell no. Nah. 
Oh shit, that adrenaline kicked in, honey. <laughs> she is moving out now. Like, where does she even go, honey? It's the arrogance for me. My like, bitch, I ain't really gotta move too fast. I'm gonna get you regardless. <laughs> Lori, girl. Oh, thank God. Michael, you. Ooh! Girl. Ooh. He gonna climb up there? Now, Michael has some climb in the build. Ooh, girl. Girl, the elevator on too. He probably on the elevator. <laughs> oh, he climbed. He climbed through the window. Why didn't we get to see that? I want to see Michael climb through something. I would have loved to see him. I want to. I want to see all that. I want to see. <laughs> Michael actually exert some effort in something. Why did we get that? Cause I'm like, surely he's not gonna get up there and climb through there. Like that doesn't even, Michael just would have, I don't know, like, appeared somewhere. I needed to see that. <laughs> Can y'all imagine Michael? <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you, if Michael knew how elevators works, <laughs> he would have been toast. She would have been toast, honey. Hell, he knows a Celtic language. Clearly, he knows how to fucking work an elevator. He know how to cut the brake lines. He know where the phone is disconnected. He know all the things. Michael low-key smart as hell. They probably showed Michael all kinds of shit at that damn institution just to see if they could get him get to respond. Anything. And he was just like, I retain all of it, but I just really want to kill everybody. <laughs> Sam Haynes and evil spirits, just goblins, ghosts, it's soldiers. People. It's the unconscious mind. We're all afraid of the dark inside ourselves. Dr. Loomis, please listen to me. She's like, child, okay. <laughs> I've seen everything. No, no, it was hidden, sealed by the court after his parents were killed. Now, after the governor heard what happened tonight, he authorized Dr. Rogers to open it. What file? She just told you. It isn't fair. They should have allowed you to examine everything. That girl, that strode girl, that's Michael Myers' sister. She was born two years before he was committed. Uh... Two years after his parents died and she was adopted by the Strodes, they requested that the records be sealed in order to protect the family. Jesus, don't you see what he's doing here in Haddonfield? He killed one sister 15 years ago, now he's trying to kill the other. Tonight, after I shot him, where did they take her? The clinic. Clinic, where do you know this area well? So that's where this came from that Michael and Lori were siblings. I just thought it was like some shit they just made up. <laughs> I know in other movies it became a thing of like that was his sister, but I'm like, when did we establish that in this one? Sorry. 
Hey y'all, I'm back. Listen, I can't believe I didn't catch this while I was watching this damn movie. Now, when we last saw Jimmy, he was sprawled out on the floor in a pool of blood. Blood splashed on him, it's all on his face, all over the things. Now he's in this car and he ain't got a lick of blood on him. What the hell is going on in this movie? Boy, you got a concussion. I think, uh, <gasps> no, you mother... <gasps> Girl, push him off of that horn. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I ought to handcuff you to the wheel, but I have a feeling I'm going to need you in there. Can I trust you? What have I got to lose? Except my job. Go and check all the rooms down there. Go on. Dr. Loomis. You stay with me and shut up. <laughs> Your ass up. I can't believe he came in there and honked that damn horn with his big ass head. Oh my God. something else now hold on now in the earlier scene the police officer heard Lori at the door did a u-turn to go back and run in that direction now we got the same scene of him running back like it's the gunshots that made him run back okay continuity come on now what did he tell you why won't he die Get away from him! Did he stop breathing? No! <gasps> she liked it. You see this? <laughs> Poor Lori. She ain't do nothing but just exist, honey. And just her crazy ass brother just wanna just kill her boy because he can. Take it. Oh, now wait a minute. I thought this was like a metal door. <laughs> the way he was banging on it. There you go. Shoot him in the head. I'm just shooting in the chest. I'm not gonna talk that.
Now, how the hell Dr. Loomis come back for the other sequels? And he done got blued up. All right, now I'm moving. Come on. Y'all know how I feel about the fire stunts. Come on, fire stunts. Still living. Michael, let me tell you. Now, how the hell Michael come back? For part four, five, and six, and, and on, and on. I guess I'm gonna have to watch them. I know part three is like totally different. Season of the Witch or whatever it's called. So I know Michael ain't in that one at all. What's the count? Ten. So far. Why did you dumb dumbs not go to the hospital in the first place? I still can't get past that. I will not forgive y'all for that. Can't go riding. Now this clearly pointed to, and we're done here. He's dead, he's burned up. We're done here with, with Michael, but what happened? I just, I guess I feel like we're gonna have to watch part four. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that was Halloween 2. Again, this is my first time actually sitting down and watching this from beginning to end. Um, so this actually um, answered some questions for me in regards to like the other sequels that I have seen, um, you know, figuring out how the whole thing with Lori and Michael being siblings came about. They actually explained it very well in this. I feel like this was a solid sequel. It was a very solid sequel. And I think, you know, this is one of those instances where they could have just stopped. And I feel like, if I'm not mistaken, the, the intention was to stop. And that's why Season of the Witch is so different because then it, the idea was for it to become an anthology. But then people really loved Michael Myers and they missed him. And it was like, well, hell, let's go back to Michael Myers. Um, and I know the fourth one and fifth one, if I'm not mistaken, those are the ones when the little girl, the niece, comes into play. Um, so I have seen those, four and five. And I think six is what uh, Curse of Michael Myers. So that's when the whole cult thing gets introduced, if I'm not mistaken. So it, it goes off the rails, you know, but I do like four and five though. And again, Season of the Witch, I think I was one of those people I saw, like, I remember watching it and then feeling like, okay, where Michael at? And ended up cutting it off. So I don't know anything about that other than I'm trying to like hypnotize the kids with like the Halloween commercials. That's all I know. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments below, what you thought about Halloween 2. If this is one of your favorite horror sequels, how do you feel it matches up with the OG? The OG is unmatched in my opinion. Like nothing is touching it um, except for some other horror classics. But this was a good time. I'm glad I watched this. Um, it was a great way to spend Halloween. As always, y'all like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna see y'all next time for something else. Happy Halloween.